Today. Skill number one, jogging. Skill number two, galloping. Skill number three, sliding. Skill number four, throwing and catching. Skill number five, jumping. Skill number six, hopping. Skill number seven, juggling. And last, skill number eight, skipping. Remember, kids, stay safe and have fun. Okay, boys and girls, the first skill we're going to work on today is jogging. Now, when I say go, you need to find your favorite stuffed animal or your favorite toy. Ready, steady, go! Remember kids, when you're jogging, you're never going your fastest. I got my favorite stuffed animal, Mr. Seahawk. All right, great job. Second skill is gallop. The item you need to find in your house is a spoon. Ready, set, go! Yeehaw! Remember when galloping kids, always keep one foot in front of the other. Great job kids, two down. All right kids, the next skill we're going to work on is side slides. The item you need to find in your house is a ball of socks. Ready, set, go! And sideways. Step sideways with your front foot. Draw your back foot toward your front foot. Continue this side together, side together. Awesome job, kids! That's three down! Right, this next skill is going to require you to take this ball of socks, throw it up in the air and catch it with each hand ten times. And then, throw it and catch it alternating back and forth between each hands for ten times. Are you ready? And go! Remember boys and girls, make sure when you're throwing and catching you keep your eyes on the ball at all times. Make sure you jump off two feet and land on two feet. Great job, fantastic. I got my shoe, I hope you got yours. Okay, the next skill we're gonna work on is hopping with one foot. I want you to hop with one foot to find this object, hop with the other foot to come back. Are you ready to find your favorite book? Ready? Seti, go! Hopping requires a lot of strength in one leg and balance. Another tough one. I brought my favorite book, Boys in the Boat. Okay, this next skill is gonna require some juggling. Now. I need you to find at least two or three items you can juggle with in your home. Are you ready? Set. Go! Alright, I've got my items. I hope you have yours. I brought with me my little horsey friend, a poof from the shower, and of course my bowl of socks. Now I'm going to start with just two items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my horsey friend in my pocket here. 
and I'm gonna hold on to my two items and I'm just gonna work on juggling with two things. Ready? And go! Begin by tossing the first ball up from your dominant hand. Just after the first ball is picked, reach up just slightly to get it while tossing the other. The second toss-up should just come to the inside of the downcoming ball's path. Right after tossing the second ball, you should catch the first. Do not toss too hard. Keep them about eye high. You will find that you are simply exchanging the one in the air for the one in your hand. Remember kids, juggling is very challenging. Take your time. Start with one ball and work your way up to three. Okay, next, I'm gonna try to go with three. If you've got two, try three now. Here we go, it's gonna be tough. Alright boys and girls, the last skill we're going to work on today is skipping. Now the item I need you to find in your home is a writing utensil, a pen, a pencil, a crayon, anything you can write with on your box. Get set, go! Skipping is like marching with a hop. Another one down. I brought my favorite writing utensil, a Sharpie. I hope you had an awesome time working on your skills today. That's all. I'll see you down under next time. Good night, mates.